Hello all and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a simple, easy French toast. So we're going to be starting with separating out some egg whites of about three eggs. Now, a uh, easier way to do this is to just buy the egg white carton where it's already separated out. But if you don't have that, then, you know, we can go old school like so. So this channel is to help those out who may be on a budget or, you know, want to cook something that looks impressive that really is pretty simple to do. If you have company over or you want to do brunch at home, this is the perfect recipe. So after we get our egg white separated, we're going to dash it with a bit of vanilla and just a dash, about a teaspoon or whatever your cap size is. We're going to go with some sugar, about one and a half to two tablespoons of sugar. If you have sweetener, like the, the yellow packets, those work really well as well. And they help cut out some of the calories. Then we're going to go with our almond milk, about a quarter cup of almond milk. And then we're going to hit it with a dash of cinnamon. Now, I'm grating my cinnamon because I had cinnamon sticks. If you don't have cinnamon sticks, use the ground cinnamon. That's, that's essentially what I'm doing anyway. People sometimes get caught up on trying to have the exact ingredients that they see in videos and I'm here to tell you just use what you have if you want to substitute if you want to make something a little different you know this is your world I am merely showing you how to make french toast in it so we're going to take our whisk and whip it all up and then we're going to dunk our bread in the mixture And I'm just using, you know, regular bread. It doesn't have to be fancy bread. But again, if you have fancy bread, use your fancy bread. It doesn't really matter. And I'm going to be doing about five pieces here. But, you know, just use up your mixture. And if you don't want so much bread and you have mixture left over, that's okay. You can just pour it on top of the bread while it's cooking in the pan and everything will get solidified either way. So this is our bread here and it's ready to go in the pan. We're gonna spray it down with a little non-stick pan. And then we're gonna start assembling the toast in the pan. You're going to let your bread go for about two to three minutes on each side or until they, you know, start looking like French toast. Which is what we have here. Now at this point, I'm going to take my confection sugar or powdered sugar with my strainer and just brush it over the top of the French toast. Just make it look pretty. My golden rule to making food or cooking food for you or anybody else, if it looks good and if you would eat it, then it's probably exactly what you need. <laughs> I'm going to go over that with some strawberries. These are just frozen strawberries that I had in the freezer. Pop them in the microwave, put a little water in it. 
and that looks delicious just like that but because I am who I am I gotta have some syrup with it but I do use the sugar-free Mrs. Buttersworth which is just as satisfying and there we have it folks we have some delicious easy simple to make french toast that you can impress you or your roommates or whomever thank you so much for tuning into the video please check me out at the actor chef on instagram and if you're looking for any catering needs in the texas region check out my website at rdcatering4u.net that's rdcatering the number four the letter u dot net and until next time keep on cooking <laughs>